Hertz FIM Trial World Championship is back on the road for a second weekend in succession, and this time heading 300 kilometers north of Round 3 venue Andorra for a second 2021 visit to France. Just a 90-minute drive from the Occitan capital, Toulouse, the town of Cahors has over two decades of trials history, but now hosts FIM competition for the first time. After a hard-fought victory last time out in Andorra, Adam Raga has narrowed the deficit at the top of the Trial GP series to just eight points. Recovering from four consecutive defeats at the hands of great rival Tony Bowe, Raga is now back in the 2021 title race. I was very happy to win in Andorra because any win is difficult to achieve, but especially because I was so close to winning on day one. To be honest, I think I deserved that win. So I said to myself, on Sunday, I can't let it get away from me. And I was ecstatic to be able to get the victory. Raga's 55th Trial GP win comes over 20 years since his first, then aged just 19 in the 2001 US Grand Prix. Over these two decades, Raga has claimed 17 consecutive individual FIM medals, including two golds and 14 silvers, an incredible spell among the sports elite. Winning for more than 20 years is very difficult to do, it's a lot of hard work and the fortune to be able to maintain this level of performance that allows you to achieve it. So in my opinion, it's difficult for any sports person to remain among the elite for so long. I've achieved a lot of wins, a massive role of honour, with a lot of second places as well, and more points than any other rider. For me, winning is the most important thing. Every win has its own unique feeling, whether it's a low-scoring trial in which you have to hold on with a great deal of pressure all day, or when you win a more difficult trial and you're riding better than everyone else. So I don't think I have any favourite win, each of them has been special. With only four scoring days remaining and a margin still to make up to the championship leader, Raga needs further victories in 2021 if he's to challenge for the title. For now, I can only take it one step at a time. Yes, I performed very well in Andorra, but let's see if we can carry that forward into other types of trials. It's important to score as many points as possible at every round to have a chance in the championship. In the Trial 2 World Championship, Great Britain's Jack Peace and Toby Martin have barely been separated in the early stages of 2021. Each scored two wins and two seconds in the first four trials of the season, and only on day two last time out in Andorra was that deadlock finally broken. Jack Peace finishing third, with Toby Martin sixth to create a slender five-point buffer. Aniel Jalabert is the only other winner in 2021, but even after that success last time out in Andorra, he remained 21 points back from the series leader. Kaur provided a generally low-scoring trial across all three classes, meaning very slender margins between the frontrunners. And in trial two, just four marks separated the lead quartet at the end of 24 sections. So three drop marks in the opener for Jack Peace, with the top three scoring two or fewer across the whole day, cost him a podium place. The first time in 2021 he's been out of the top three. And as a result, he surrenders his championship lead. After a miserable start to 2021, Alexandra Ferrer was finally back on the podium, celebrating his home round with a fine third position. Ferrer, the 2012 World Cup winner, had gone four trials without finishing in the top eight, let alone challenging for victory. But on this occasion, he was only denied top spot by two single dabs and gains a place in the close fort midfield in the championship standings. <laughs> Aniol Jalabert moved 18 points clear of his nearest rival for the 2021 bronze medal. Lorenzo Gandola suffering his worst trial of the campaign down in ninth and Jalabert continuing his strong recent form with a second place in Cahors. 
Two drop marks in the opening three sections of the day cost him a shot at victory, but the better factory rider is now on a run of five consecutive races inside the top four, three of them podium finishes. The first rider to reach three victories in the 2021 Trial 2 season is Toby Martin. Bouncing back in style from a disappointing day two in Andorra with a peerless visit to Cowell. Two perfect laps provided Martin with a win and a seven-point swing as well with Jack Beast down in fourth that sees the championship lead change hands yet again. Just two marks separated the top three heading into the final section. Aniol Jalabert, first of the leaders and clean to finish the trial on two marks. And importantly in the context of tie breaks, fastest of any rider inside the top ten. In order for Jalabert to snatch the win though, he would rely on an unlikely mistake from Toby Martin in the final section. And the TRS man held his nerve despite intense pressure to finish his faultless zero mark day and take what is the ninth victory of his trial two career. All that remained was for Alexander Ferrer to come home and complete the podium. A single dab in the penultimate section had dropped him behind Gelabert as a result of count back on time. The pair tied on two marks apiece and the French veteran having taken over 20 minutes longer than his direct rival on the course. Just 10 marks separate the top eight finishers are now Ferrer and Lorenzo Gandola, the main victims of this low scoring trial. The season's best meanwhile for Pablo Suarez and Alexander Ferrer. Yeah, today's been perfect. To go round on zero at a World Championship, I'm, I'm really, really happy. And to be honest, it's one of the hardest races to win. And I'm just happy to take the World Championship points lead. We're now two points ahead. And I'm also happy to stand on the st top step as well. And uh, yeah, it's been a really good day. And to be honest, I'm a little bit speechless because I didn't expect to be uh, on top in such an easy trial. But yeah, no, I'd like to thank all the organisers and all my sponsors. It's been an awesome weekend. Alexander Ferrer moves back above Gianluca Tournour for the first time since Tormezzo. The only other change inside the top ten is for the championship lead. A third win in three different countries for Toby Martin as he recovers from a five-point deficit and leads by two in a fight for gold that looks set to go down to the wire with only three scoring days remaining in the Trial 2 World Championship. The Trial E World Cup has a new title holder. Gael Chatagnot takes the 2021 crown with a fourth consecutive victory of the campaign. It's the culmination of a lifetime of work on board Trials machinery for the Frenchman and a long-term project for the Electric Motion Factory. I've had quite an unusual journey, really, because I was 125 champion in 2014. Then when I was 18, I concentrated on my studies alongside a move to trial two. The studies alone were a lot of work, so I didn't have as much time to train as the others and to keep up my fitness. I had a lot of injuries to my knee, shoulder and ankle. Electric motion has Meanwhile, Electric Motion had released a new prototype with a new frame and engine for 2019. And I said to myself, why not? And it's turned out to be a fantastic decision. Last year, we were very close to the title against Gas Gas and Albert Cavastan. And this year, we've won the Trial E World Cup. So it was a great choice to move on. And I'm very happy. Last year it was very frustrating because I won the first two rounds and my main feeling is remorse looking back, thinking maybe I could have done more to take the title. So we've battled through frustration and sadness, gone back to work and hunted down the title this year. I've really worked hard for it, the team as well. We've developed the bike a lot. We've won in every trial. So we have some great memories of this championship and particularly this hard-fought final round against Julien Perret, who rode very well. But I kept up my concentration to complete a run of winning at every round. I'm happy not only for myself, but also for the Electric Motion Factory. It's a great joy to win this World Cup. I think the future of trials is an electric one. The bikes are capable of much more than the sections we're doing for now. 
I'd like to have the opportunity to ride in trial two with an electric bike, or if not, then see how the level of our trial E sections improve while we wait for more manufacturers to join the series. I'd like to thank everyone involved for their efforts both during the winter and during this championship. I hope to continue with electric motion in the future because we're writing a beautiful story together. Gael Chatagnot takes the title by a 12-point margin over fellow countryman Julien Perret, who put in his best ride on the final day of competition. Martin Riobo completing the podium trio for 2021. After the replacement of the planned two-day trial GP Great Britain with a single trial in Portugal, only four scoring opportunities remained in the 2021 campaign ahead of the visit to Cahors. Good news for those holding a points advantage, including current series leader Tony Bowe, eight up on his nearest rival Adam Racker, even after losing two points over the course of Trial GP Andorra. I'm feeling quite positive. It's been a good start to this season with some real consistency. I struggled on day two in Italy, then in Andorra we dropped points on the second day, but it was a very difficult weekend for us, and a first and third was a good result for the championship. So we arrive in France looking forward to another trial. Meanwhile, in the fight for FIM bronze, Matteo Grattarola arrived in Caor nine points clear of Jaime Busto. Regardless of his final classification, this will be Grattarola's best ever season in the top flight. With three podium finishes already to his name, a great opportunity to put the better factory back on the world championship podium. I hardly even believe it myself. It's been a big surprise. Third in the world championship always seemed such an impossible result. I started really well in Italy, but a second place in France for me was brilliant, then another podium in Andorra, and now we'll have to see what happens here. Four riders are separated by 16 points in that battle for third, but the man best placed to overhaul Grattarola is Jaime Busto, the Spaniard putting in his best results of the season so far a week ago in Andorra, only losing out to Adam Raga by a single mark on day two in San Julia de Loria. To be honest, it was a bit of a disappointment to finish second after leading almost the whole trial, but it was a really positive weekend in a season that hadn't been going how we hoped. Andorra was good, I'm happy, and now I aim to stay on the podium for the rest of the season and finish third overall. Trial GP Italy winner Takehisa Fujinami, just two points behind Jaime Busto, leads the chasing group from fifth place down. The likes of Mikel Gelabert and Gironi Fajardo also within 20 points of the World Championship podium. A unique course in Kaor, legacy of the urban trial that's run inside the city for over 20 years. This season, the 12 sections were mapped out to the south of the city centre on the banks of the River Lo. <laughs> Only after disqualification in 2019 has Gironi Fajardo finished outside of the top six in the World Championship in the last 15 years, but that's looking increasingly likely after he finished at the back of the pack in Kaor, his worst result in that entire period. Fajardo struggled to adapt to the artificial steps and rocks that made up the course, failing four sections on each lap. And although he sat eighth at the halfway mark, he subsequently dropped to tenth and six behind his nearest rival ahead. Benoit Bincaz missed out on Trial GP's first visit to France this season due to injury, but this was not a home round to remember for the beta rider, who continues to struggle on his mid-season return. Two ninth places and a tenth is hardly what he would have been expecting from this campaign, but Bincaz has done well to at least survive the rigours of back-to-back -back weekends in Andorra and France. Gabriel Marseille remains last of the eight ever presents from this 2021 season, but he continues to chase down Gironi Fajardo for seventh, and an eighth-place finish in Caor sees him narrow that deficit to just two points overall. 
could have been more for Marseille, but for a high-scoring first lap, because his second lap was excellent by comparison. Sections three and four, though, proving insurmountable for the Montessa factory man, and accounting for 20 of his 34 mark finishing score. After a last place finish on day two in Andorra that he labelled a disaster, Jorge Casales was satisfied to put that weekend behind him and move on to Cao, where a seventh place finish was an improved result. The Galician sat one place higher than that at the end of lap one, and he was in real contention for a fourth place that would have been his best result of this season so far. But a single fiasco made the difference as he ultimately finished five marks back with three failures on each lap. Mateo Gratarola suffered his worst result of the 2021 season, but still took sixth place. Dropping marks in five consecutive sections at the start of the opening lap certainly didn't help his cause in France, but he dug in well and bagged enough points to maintain his current world number three ranking. And, but for a late error in section 10, completed by each other rider successfully at the final time of asking, Gratarola could have finished as high as fourth on what was another competitive outing for the Italian. The fight for fifth in the World Championship overall between Taki Fujinami and Mikel Gelabert translated into a battle for fourth at the fourth round of the 2021 campaign. Marks alone unable to separate them in Kaol and only 33 seconds the difference at the end of a tiring day. After a disappointing weekend in Andorra with two eighth place finishes, Fujinami got off to another underwhelming start with three fiascos in the first four sections. The mechanical problems that plagued him early in the day were resolved by the second lap. He finished strongly to pick off both Casales and Gratarola to take fifth. It's the third consecutive trial that Gelabert has beaten Fujinami and made up ground in the overall standings. But another day on which he was tantalisingly close to a first podium of 2021. In fact, he sat inside the top three at the end of the opening lap, only to fail three consecutive sections at the start of the second tour. With a previous best world ranking of eighth, Gelabert's current sixth place ranking must already be considered a relative success. But his consistency and steady improvement since joining the Gas Gas Factory is also to be lauded. <laughs> While only 15 marks separated riders from 4th to 10th, the top three were far more consistent, particularly on the second lap, and were thus able to break away. Jaime Busto, for example, finished one position, but 14 marks clear of Mikel Gelabert, an excellent two-mark second lap, allowing him to overhaul his fellow countrymen. Back-to-back -back podiums for Busto on very different types of terrain, really underlying the progress he and Vertigo have made with the Nitro model. And the Basque rider now sits only four points back from Matteo Gratarola in third overall. Just as on day two in Andorra, only a single mark separated Jaime Busto from Adam Raga at the end of the trial. Although this time the duel between them was for second. Two first lap fiascos in sections four and eight dropped Adam Raga eight marks back from Tony Bow at the halfway mark in Kaor. And from there he could only focus on defending a slender lead over Busto. Both riders scored two marks second laps though. The order remained unchanged. A vital damage limitation ride from Raga. Mechanical problems for Tony Bowes, Montessa Cotta 4RT in Andorra left him unable to maintain his usual dominance at his home round a week ago. But it was back to business as usual for the Repsol Honda rider in France. The purpose-built sections proved ideally suited to the world champion, who only took three dabs in the first four sections before rattling off 20 consecutive cleans to end the day 10 marks clear on top. An impressive victory margin, especially for such a low-scoring trial. Ah! 
A minor frustration at the end of the day for Mikel Jalabert as he became the only rider to drop a mark in the final section, leaving him tied on the score charts with Takisa Fujinami and trying to work out whether that minor indiscretion might have just cost him fourth place. But despite a strong late surge from the Japanese veteran, who put in seven cleans in the final eight sections, he was 33 seconds down on Jalabert on time, so remained fifth. Fujinami struggled in the early stages of the first lap. Jalabert at the start of the second, a finale in Kaor that couldn't have been much closer between two riders who are now separated by just three points in the World Championship. Well clear of that Jalabert and Fujinami fight behind, Jaime Busto appeared satisfied with third, a string of 11 consecutive cleans bettered only by Tony Bow. The 17th podium of Busto's trial GP career and his second of 2021. Behind Busto on time and only one mark clear, Adam Raga needed to remain clean in his final section to hold on for second, but he showed no signs of nerves to complete a successful day in second place on 19 cleans, his sixth consecutive podium in 2021. <laughs> but there's now an 11 point gap for Raga to surmount at the top of the championship. Tony Bowe proving trial GP Andorra was a mere blip as he bounced back to his fourth victory of the season. He becomes the first rider to reach 14 victories on French soil, breaking Dougie Lampkin's record and now sits on an incredible 122 career wins. Oh. 43 marks from top to bottom on a low-scoring day. The pack from fourth to ninth separated by just nine marks. Jeroni Fajardo surprisingly tailed off and the podium trio a class apart. I'm pleased. I really didn't start the day how I hoped. With two fiascos in the first three sections, the ground was very slippery and I didn't have a good feeling. I struggled to get to grips with it. But in the end, I got there with a very good second lap. It's a third place that was very close to being second, but I'm ahead of Gratarola, which is good for the championship, so I'm happy. I'm happy with my second place today. It's a good result for the championship. I started strongly, really trying to push for the win, but I made a couple of mistakes, so I have to accept second. That's good nonetheless. The truth is, I'm really happy with how this weekend has gone, especially coming from Andorra, where we had a lot of problems. I have to thank the team for the great work they've done. It's been a near-perfect day. We knew right from the start that it was an easy trial, so we couldn't afford any mistakes. Three little mistakes on the first lap, but a clean second lap is a reflection of a strong ride, which gives me a lot of confidence for the championship. Benoit Bincaz passing the absent Dan Peace is the only change to the championship standings after a single day in Kaor, although duels for third, fifth and seventh have all continued to tighten up. Adam Raga and Tony Bowe have shared all six podiums this season, but Raga has only once beaten his main rival and therefore trails with only three days of competition remaining in 2021. Trail GP now heads into a week's break for another back-to-back -back in Spain and Portugal to award the FIM gold medal.